no, it doesn't stay on this. Oh, one. there's no reader on it? Right, nope. There he is. Jumping. Is jumping out there? there. Oh, one. Nice and yeah. easy. He's jumping just real steady. That's Matt out there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah yours is down there, Dan. Alright guys, now that we have our fish cleaned, filleted, skin's taken off, <clears throat> getting ready to cook her up. What we're going to do first is we're going to blacken them, first style. I like to use Zatarain's blackening season. So what I do is put a little layer on here. You know, you don't have to super coat it so you can't see the fish, just enough to get a little spice on here. Now I got the pan in the background on, getting real hot, you want that to get real hot. Obviously, the hotter you want this spice here, wise you can add more of this. You can even throw a little cayenne in there. I just like the way this comes out, so I just kind of coat it nice, nice. Now that we have our fish coated, I'm going to cut off a little slab of butter here. I like to use butter when I'm blackening. Put that right in that pan. You see that pan's pretty hot. That butter is all. Now we're going to add our fish. You hear that sizzle. Remember folks, you can hear in the background, better have that fan running. So this is going to get a little smoky in here. So that fish has been on here for about a minute and a half. You can start seeing the edges start turning a little pale. I mean, she's starting to cook pretty cool. You're just seeing her starting to lose that translucent in the middle. Time to flip them. You see that underside, that nice golden color. That uh, seasoning really took to it. We're going to give this another minute and a half or so, and we're going to be able to plate them, and then we're going to enjoy it. As you can see, this side's a little bit thinner than this thick piece here. She's not quite done, but we want to get this off so it doesn't dry out too much. A little loin there, take him off. I'm going to give that another. 30 seconds or so. Cook her right through. You can see in there just a little bit. It's almost done. Really close. Oh, that's good. So good. Well, the thicker piece is now uh, done. Flip it over. Looks nice. Oh, it's breaking apart on me there. You can see we're plating her. As you can probably notice, couldn't help myself, had to pick a little piece off here. Just too good to wait. So, well, I'm going to get some sides on this plate and uh, I'm going to go enjoy some nice fresh uh, coho out of uh, Lake Ontario. Fresh caught fish. Caught two days ago. Can't beat it. The next recipe we're going to go over is how to grill your fish. In this method, we're going to leave the skin on going to put it on a piece of aluminum foil and we're just going to add 
some Lowry Season Salt, which is one of my favorites, just a real basic plain Jane recipe. And on the other half, we're gonna put some Lowry's Lemon Pepper. Lowry Season Salt, I'm gonna use the 25% less sodium because, you know, that salt's not good for you. And the Lowry's Lemon Pepper. Since we're not gonna coat both sides, I'm gonna go a little bit heavier. You don't want to overdo it, just a little bit. There's that Lowry's, and we're gonna do some lemon pepper. Now that they're seasoned, oh, missed a spot. Now that we got those seasoned nice, we got the grill running outside, got it nice and warm, get it up to about 400 degrees. We're gonna throw them right on the grill. As you can see, we got that temp starting to rise up there. It's just getting above 300. I'm gonna get our fish on. See, I let that seasoning sit on there for about five, 10 minutes while I let the grill get up to where I want it. Got it on that grill. Kind of turn the mother burners down. Close her up. Let her cook. So we've had this on here for six minutes. Now we're gonna pull it off. Here's the nicest part about doing the fish like this on the grill. You got it on that aluminum foil. Aluminum foil stays. And that fish comes right off of the skin. Whoop and you're plating it. And then when you're done, shut that grill off and roll that aluminum foil up and throw it right away. Slide separates from that skin nice and, like I said, this stays. Wrap that up. Throw that right in the garbage. We're ready to go eat. For my sides, I just decided to cook up some uh, green beans, a little olive oil, and some rotten Rick's meat rubs. Better get a hold of my boy Rick, order some more. Stuff's great. Put it on everything. So here we are. We got our blackened coho salmon, our green beans. Just sauteing a little olive oil and Rotten Rick's rub. And some homemade potato salad my wife whipped together yesterday. If I can talk her into it, maybe I can give, her, give you guys a recipe. Because this stuff is to die for. It might be on my death row meal if I ever needed one. It's good potato salad. It's an old recipe from a local deli we used to visit. They were nice enough to give us a recipe. It is out of this world. And here's our lemon pepper coho. Seasons Hall Coho and some of those uh, green beans and Rotten Rick's Rub. We have a lot of fish to eat here tonight. Have a little bit of each. And uh, hope you guys try these recipes and uh, let me know how you, uh, how you like them. These are the ways I like to premiere my fish. I'm not a big uh, fancy chef, but this is what I do and I enjoy it. Hopefully you do too. Keep up Chase and let's go make some more smiles. See you on the next one. So guys, Here's my confession. After cooking my coho, blackened, Lowry's lemon salt, or lemon pepper, and season salt. I know I mentioned season salt was one of my favorite ways. It's the easiest way to do it. You just have to coat them a little bit. Lowry's lemon pepper is not hard, but that blackened coho by far was hands down the best. It will be the only way I eat my cohos and probably brown chow from here on out. Hope you guys try this recipe. You won't be disappointed. I guarantee you that. Leave me a comment if you try it, how you've liked it. And if you come up with any other ways to cook them, let me know. Thanks. Let's go make some more smiles and keep up that chase.